it's Priscilla Lopez with Chicago 3 Media. Today we have Lou Vasta from Vasta and Associates and he is the producer of today's event. Lou? Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Yes, Festa Italiana is, uh, is in, in its seventh year in a row and uh, we produce the event and we've got all kinds of games and food vendors, um, sponsors like Toronto Bread and Fontanini Italian Meats are our presenting sponsors and we have all kinds of fun things going on. It's a four-day event and uh, we're, we're almost uh, downhill here Saturday and tomorrow we end tomorrow night at 10 p.m. So Lou, tell us um, how many people, about how many people come and show for, up for this event a year? We get about 40 to 50,000 people over a four-year, or a four-day event festival. So the festival opens up on Thursday afternoon, Friday afternoon into the evening, Saturday all day. Today we're 12 to 11 p.m. And then Sunday we are uh, 2 o'clock p.m. to 10 p.m. So it's we get about 40 to 50,000. We've got over 30 bands and artists. We've got uh, over 90, when you count all of our vendors, we have about uh, over 100 food vendors, artisans, and musicians. And I understand there's a meatball competition going on today? Yes. Two of the highlights of our event, we have many highlights. Uh, as you know, the fashion show just ended by Zaz Productions and Factor Models. And we now have the meatball eating contest that goes on before and after tonight. And they, they, they pull out of the crowd some seven or eight people who are they who are probably starving because they get the award of being the meatball eating contest winner i think the winner had has eaten like eight meatball sandwiches and it was a woman that won that last year we are here joined by tom fioretti which is on the board of the national italian american sports hall of fame give it up for tom you're in little italy <laughs> tom tell us about where we're at right now we're on Taylor Street and we're at the National Italian American Sports Hall of Fame building, which is the best view in Chicago. Everybody wants to have their wedding here. Take a look at that view. Yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful view. And you say it's even better at night? It's fantastic at night. And uh, the hall puts on events here all the time. And people want to um, have an event, they should just call up the hall and see if they can reserve uh, some rooms and yes. banquet hall. I understand that it's under new ownership. The building's under new ownership, but the Hall of Fame is here as this is their home. It's a national museum. And tell us a little bit more about the, the, the Hall of Fame. The Hall of Fame was founded by George Randazzo like 35 years ago. And George, is a, he's, a great, uh, he's a great sponsor for Italian-American uh, culture and obviously sports. And um, tell me why the Hall of Fame is so important for Italian culture, like you said. Well, it... it, it it translates into generations and like my kids see everything and family and friends all of that is about the Italian American Sports Hall of Fame as well. So that's all we have for today it's Priscilla Lopez with Chicago 3 Media.